Servus, greetings and hello, it's Tabletop Lenny again and yes, you're right, it's been a while since I uploaded the video. This is, uh, this depends on some uh, private circumstances, relocating and I also get some health problems. But now I'm back and I want to show you some of my newest uh, terrain creations. And it's a uh, rock terrain, it's an area terrain, which is also modular. And yeah, rocks are one of the most interesting and important uh, landscape elements. Everywhere you go, um, you find signs that lead to a uh, rock. And if you go hiking in a uh, forest uh, area, if there is a rock, everybody wants to go to this rock formation and enjoy the sight and explore the rocks, climb on them. So rocks are the most romantic, most interesting, or well, very interesting, very romantic uh, landscape elements. So, even in terrain building for miniature wargaming uses, rocks came here. I think uh, for most people, an, a center aspect of terrain building. But let's get into this uh, terrain piece. It's a uh, modular piece. It's uh, a base which is uh, made, it's founded on a uh, wood, it's a uh, multiplex wood um, plate. It's uh, sanded on the edges to give you a smooth transition. And um, yeah, then I built up this ground rocky structure with uh, foam. I stamped it to give us uh, some more rock um, feeling into it. And then I um, appl um, applied this uh, crackling pass to give it this dried desert kind of look. And painted it as a uh, wet in wet so you get these uh, different tones of orange and red and brownish tones on it. Uh, don't mention this part, this is an accident while uh, making this video. <laughs> I just uh, refurbished uh, it on this small area. Yeah, this is the, the ground plate. It's um, usable as an area terrain. Here are emplaced magnets, which you can see. and. Yeah, I have to integrate uh, some metal plates on the on the bottom of these rock needles, and so you can uh, just pluck them on, and they won't uh, fall by a side or something like this. The rock needles uh, themselves are casted out of uh, isolation foam, high ident high dense foam, and uh, the surface is worked over with uh, filler, and then I structured it with uh, modeling tools and. Uh, with a wire brush and things like this to give it this uh, yeah the surface where you get the small pores and small cracks and uh, to give it this uh, yeah detailed surface then i sculpted this uh, small nests and caves uh, from uh, green stuff and worked it over with filler to match the surface of the rock and to give it a, a more similar look and now you can choose what you do with this uh, with this um, terrain piece. It's uh, on the one side usable for a uh, terrain piece where you get uh, cover from different angles and uh, just use it for skirmish games like I just get a miniature. Wait a moment. It's uh, on the one side. It's usable for skirmish games because you get different angles of view and uh, on the other side it's also usable for games like Warhammer where you get regiments and massive blocks of, uh, uh, of miniatures so you can uh, move them through and move away this uh, yeah, rock needles so it's a multifunctional uh, terrain piece. Um, there are a few different rock needles you don't have to use them all you can choose by using only two or just use uh, this uh, broken one and a smaller one so you get a different uh, cover aspect even if you get bigger miniatures you won't have a total coverage so it's a uh, multifunctional uh, terrain piece and uh, I try to put in a lot of details because I uh, want to cast and mold this uh, base and the rock needles because when I do commissions I want to give people the most amount of details and quality and yeah reproduction is one key for doing this it uh, gives the opportunity to have a lot a high amount of details and a high amount of quality and on the other side it's uh, a way to yeah, 
keep costs in a, in a reasonable reach if you want so yeah if you uh, like what you see and uh, if you're interested in a terrain piece or in a commission i'm uh, always interested to um, get your requests of uh, terrain projects and we can dis discuss them per email just check out my blog tabletoplennyblogspot.de uh, or dot com and yeah i will give you a quote about it and if you just like uh, yeah, this content and this terrain working and you get inspired it would be awesome if you repost and relink and forward my content a little bit in the internet universe by the way uh, enjoy your life, happy building, happy gaming and see you soon. I'm out.